weather rate certified most accurate forecast fox 54 weather the weather didn't luck out today but it did luck out for your run this weekend yeah and he finished it you said 14 miles 13.1 well, but thank you for giving me the credit of an extra mile that was very kind of you well it it's long period and you finish it at hour 48 one hour 50 minutes and 54 seconds in case you were counting that's hard and you never stopped no, you can't stop. Once you just start, you gotta keep going or you're never Does gonna. Does your legs just, you just forget what they're doing down there by like a half hour? You tend to hope you forget what they're doing down there, but as we speak, they're still in searing pain, but I guess that's what I get for running the thing in an hour and 50 minutes. Hopefully the searing pain goes away at least sometime in the near future. Radar looks nice and quiet this evening. That after a day that was filled with off and on showers, uh, cloudy sky and temperatures that only climbed into the mid and upper 60s. Now the Muscle Shoals Regional Airport did see a high of 71 degrees. I think they're like the only ones that actually managed to climb into the lower 70s this afternoon. Radar quiet for the time being, but we are watching a mass of showers and thunderstorms back off to our west. That could move into the Tennessee Valley over the next couple of hours. Be mindful of that. When you go to bed, you might get woke up in the middle of the night by a rumble of thunder. That wind might pick up just a little bit. Maybe that's good news for those of you that like to sleep to the sound of rain. Maybe you leave your windows open tonight. It's actually going to be rather warm across the Tennessee Valley. Temperatures only dropping into the mid and upper 50s. Some of us may not fall lower than the lower 60s. We'll be significantly warmer tomorrow compared to what we saw this afternoon. I also think we'll get to enjoy a couple of peaks of sunshine on Tuesday afternoon. Temperatures climbing into the mid and upper 70s. Some of us making a pretty solid run at 80 degrees. Does look like the vast majority of us are going to fall just short. An isolated shower is possible through the afternoon, but we are going to get to enjoy significant periods of dry time. Tomorrow really is going to be an improvement compared to what we saw this afternoon across North Alabama Southern Michigan. Middle Tennessee. The trash pandas have their home opener tomorrow, and honestly, it really doesn't look that bad. Maybe just a touch on the humid end of the spectrum. Bear that in mind if you are going to be out at Toyota Field. 77 at 6, 74 at 7, 71 by 8, 70 degrees by the time we get to 9 o'clock. A nice warm evening for a game. An isolated shower is possible. Would an isolated shower have major impacts on the game? No, probably not. Whatever isolated shower that may develop probably wouldn't stick around very long, but there are other opportunities for widespread rain in the forecast. Some of those are going to come as early as Tuesday evening by 8 and 830 at night. A couple of showers hanging out across northwest Alabama, Lauderdale, Cobbert, down into Franklin County. We advance things a couple of hours, 10, 1030, 11 o'clock at night. Now we are actually talking about the opportunity for widespread rain across the Tennessee Valley. The good news here by 1030 at night, many of you are long home and long in bed. An isolated shower might be possible by the time we get to the Wednesday morning commute. It does look like we are going to spend the vast majority of Wednesday afternoon dry, but a couple of scattered showers certainly can't be ruled out. By the time we get to Wednesday evening, things change a little more and evolve. Now we're talking about widespread showers and thunderstorms across the Tennessee Valley ahead of a cold front. That cold front comes through the Tennessee Valley Wednesday night and early Thursday morning. Some of the shower and thunderstorm activity out ahead of that cold front could be on the strong or severe end of the spectrum. With that in mind, almost all of North Alabama, southern middle Tennessee sits under a slight risk for severe weather. Far northwest Alabama sits under an enhanced risk for severe weather. Lauderdale, Cobbert, down into Franklin counties. All modes of severe weather are going to be possible. Large hail, heavy rain, damaging winds, and tornadoes. Looks like our primary concern across the Tennessee Valley is going to be damaging winds, though an isolated tornado can't be ruled out, especially west of the I-65 corridor. Let's look at your Easter weekend. Good Friday actually looks really nice. Beautiful, as a matter of fact. 75 degrees, scattered shower which are going to be possible on Saturday. Still warm, 75 degrees. A little cooler by the time we get to Easter Sunday. Scattered shower once again going to be possible. We'll maintain an opportunity for rain when everybody heads back to work next Monday. Also got a high right around 70 degrees. That's all I got for you this evening. Here's what's coming up in sports.